high adventure hunts um, pretty much start the the time you leave the house it's not it's not all about the action on the mountain There's no national registry. I know there's no national registry, and that's the biggest loophole. But guns kill, and it happens, and came back here. Okay. Okay, so I just keep right. saying, that's safe. Very good, thank you. Now a huge weight is off. Now we got that taken care of. All the bags are checked, and now we're just gonna wait till our plane boards and get on and go. Ooh. It's always a process. The whole process is an adventure, you know, from uh, navigating foreign airports to uh, all the legalities of getting your weapon and ammunition over all the rifle permits, the, the military inspections, um, the jet lag, the 13-hour uh, flight here. Uh, now we're in a nice lounge here for a few hours, and then it's going to be uh, another flight at 2:15 a.m. and then. It's, it's an adventure that the whole process is an adventure and then it, of course climax is on, on the mountain when you're trying to, to make the stock on the animal um, but uh, it's it's something to be enjoyed the whole process the culture um, the the seeing the the new sites and places is all a big part of it Good to be here. <laughs> it's really cold. Oh yeah. Lots of hoops to jump through to get to this far. <laughs> so you didn't stay in Istanbul, right? For the rest no, of we just stayed in the airport. So for how long you have been on the way? Um, oh, yeah. So we left 13 hour flight LA. Uh -huh. And then about six hours, five hours at Istanbul. Yeah. And then Another hour and a half, two hours. So you had about close an to hour 20, delay, right? Yeah, 22 to 23 hours. Now we just go hunt. So that's <laughs> what I was gonna ask. Actually, today the weather is really nice. Yeah. Tomorrow we expect some snow. Stay gonna chip. I doubt there's safety in the world or something like that. There's no safety. <laughs> it does taste like steak on a chip though. How are they? Tastes like steak on a chip, dude. Yaman, and I think we're gonna grab some shut eye for a few hours, get a meal in our belly, get recharged, and get on the mountain this afternoon to go look at some Ibex. He needs some sleep, but hopefully the hotel has a gym yeah. while he's napping. Getting his be Why do you think he's so pretty? He sleeps all the time. He's sleep. looking this beautiful. You don't get that way sleeping yeah. two hours in the last 24 hours. In but low half inch. Half Just inch left, half inch long. Yeah. It's him.
first ibex of the trip right now. They're all over that mountain. They're all over the mountain. The probably. scope's on a, a really good one. There's probably 50 plus nannies and billies on the mountain just scouring up feeding right now. They're so pretty. <laughs> They're awesome. beautiful. They're so cool. Ibex down in Turkey. Ah, thank you guys. Thank you all. Check out this awesome Bezoar Ibex. Uh, we're here uh, the southeast side of Turkey. We flew into the border of Syria a couple days ago. Um, super jet lagged. Uh, we got a couple hours sleep in the morning and then went out in the afternoon glass and and this was the first billy we spotted and uh we we held off going for him because we just uh, first day and we wanted to have a look around um, we looked around saw a bunch more but this is still one of the best ones we saw um, then uh, you know i had a sleepless night woke up about two o'clock in the morning from from jet lag and then excitement about this billy and uh from two o'clock in the morning till seven, looked at pictures and video of him and was, was pretty excited to see if we could find him today. 
and uh, and we, we lucked out and did. We found him today and um, took quite a while uh, figuring out uh, which one he was in the brush and um, had to be real patient on the shot opportunity. But about a 300 yard shot, one shot, and and put him down. And, and uh, just a, an incredible experience to be over here in Turkey and experience uh, the terrain out here and the, the beauty of it and the culture and just a, a beautiful place. It's been a heck of an adventure.